We're just waiting the last of the load, which would be the eight bluegrass singer. I'll send it out to Larry Colmas for the call. Best of luck. They're off in the swale. And it's ready for Rye, who goes out to take the early lead. On the inside, XY Jets got speed two. These two out for the lead together. Bluegrass Singer is three lengths off of them, and Daredevil will sit fourth early on, five lengths off the dueling leaders. Then Senor Grits and Social Request at the back. XY Jet takes them up the backstretch, ready for Rye in hot pursuit. Second on the outside, three quarters of a length behind through an opening quarter mile in 22 and two fifth seconds. Then comes Bluegrass Singer, Daredevil, the heavy Heavy favorite is fourth at the half mile pole. He's four lengths off the lead. Down on the inside comes Senor Grits and social request at the back of the field around the far turn. Ready for Rye is now the leader. Ready for Rye, three furlongs out. Bluegrass Singer attacks on the outside. XY Jet is thrown in the towel after a 45 and one half. Daredevil third and on the move now as they come toward the top of the stretch. But Ready for Rye has a three length lead and they're into the stretch and it's ready for Rye off the turn in front. Three lengths ahead of Daredevil as they come to the final furlong. Ready for Rye, trying to get another furlong. Still three in front. Daredevil is second. They've left the others reeling behind. Ready for Rye has the lead coming down to the wire. And Luis Saez and Ready for Rye take the face of Tipton Swale, upsetting Daredevil. Senor Gritz was third and Bluegrass Singer was fourth. Ready for Rye. They were no competition for him today. Congratulations to trainer Tom Albertrani. Let's take a look at that start again because it looks straight out of it. The three nosedive just a bit. Yeah, bad stumble for the three. The one doesn't get the smoothest beginnings uh, as well. As you can see, they both sort of bumped into each other and it compromised the race because the three is supposed to be on the front end. Luis Saez did a phenomenal job of pushing the pace a tiny bit here and then going, you know what? I'll let the three go and then watch them both back down the pace. Now Daredevil's behind the eight ball, Simon, because they're not really going that fast. Horse on the front end that basically got left. He knows not gonna have any punch late. And the four and Luis Saez took you know, control and the race was over. Yeah, Castellano and Daredevil, they left four or five lengths from the lead. They only get beat, what, a couple at the wire. It was a good comeback race for Daredevil. Post was ultimately his demise. I think it's a slow break there. He wasn't more forwardly placed in the early stages. Ready for a ride down the stretch. Just a little awkward, hanging on that left lead. It wasn't pretty, but getting the job done. Daredevil, good comeback race. The top two are well, well clear of the rest of the field. This form is good for Pletcher. Remember, Carpe Diem beat ready for yeah. Ryan the debut. Carpe Diem coming back in the Tampa Bay Derby a little later on. So all this three-year-old form is starting to play out now. We see the good form lines. And congratulations to Tom Albatroni, who's had one of those meets. Listen, we've all had him as either athletes or professionals. He's over 59 with a lot of of seconds and thirds, gets his first win of the meet and a grade two. Congratulations. Congratulations to trainer Tom Al Albertrani and ready for a ride. I mean, it, it really is tough. It goes in waves, this business, yes, and right. somebody like Tom will understand that. So congratulations to him. Takes the swale at Gulfstream Park. We have to take a short break, but trust me, you do not want to leave. We have plenty of live racing action to come.